GPT-40, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Claude 3 Sonnet, GPT-40 Turbo, Perplexity, Llama 3. These are all some of the several options on the market that are available when you actually want to start working with LLMs. Did you know that these LLMs are specialized in certain tasks? For example, one LLM can be good at coding, while the other can be really good at reasoning, and some of them can be really good at chat. So the question now arises as to choosing the best model for the problem that you have got on your hand. So how do we go about this? The solution to this problem lies with model routing. Without model routing, you have an LLM and the user sends across the prompt to the LLM and the LLM responds by generating some text or in some cases, even images. Now, the problem is that the LLM is chosen beforehand, irrespective of what the user sends the prompts. For example, the user may be asking a question about coding, while some other user can be asking a question about logical reasoning. So we choose the LLM based on our intuition and we choose it beforehand. And sometimes we even choose based on luck or word of mouth or people who consider our experts in the field. So this is unacceptable. We are not making the most out of the vast array of LLMs that are available in the market today. To overcome this problem, the solution lies with model routing. So with model routing, the user sends across the prompt and the model router decides which LLM to use and the LLM responds with the best possible answer that it can provide because the router has chosen the best possible LLM for the user's prompt. In this case, the LLM is chosen dynamically by the router and the choice is based on the prompt that the user has provided and is also based on the latency and cost considerations. So when I was looking for the best model router available on the market, I came across Not Diamond. Not Diamond is automatic, meaning that it automatically decides which of the array of LLMs is best suited for the prompt that the user provides. It also cleverly considers the cost and latency trade-off whenever it chooses the LLM. On top of that, the model router is also trainable. As the user interacts with the system, it cleverly understands the requirements of the user and then it gets better and better so that it always provides the best response possible for the user's prompt. So without further ado, let's have a look at the chat app that's provided by Not Diamond and find out the several features that come along with it. Let's start with the chat app and find out how it works. So let's ask the simple question, how does Not Diamond work? Not Diamond automatically recommends the best AI model for every message and learns in real time based on your feedback. And there's also thumbs up and thumbs down button. There's this arena mode and then there's settings and then there's editing of the system prompts. So I will walk you through one by one. So basically, if you ask Not Diamond a question and you like the response, you can hit the like button. Or if you don't like it, if you want a better response the next time, then you could probably thumbs down it. And then there's the sparkle icon, which you can use if you want the response to be generated with a different model. So once it's finished generating the response, at the bottom, it shows which model was used to show the response. On top of that, it also shows the time taken and also the cost associated with generating this response. It's quite handy for us to kind of decide whether this is the best model for us or we can actually switch to a different model. So if we click on the cogwheel on the top right, we could see the different models that are competing to give you the best response. We can see that there's the option to customize the system prompt. So if you're really into prompt engineering and you know what you're doing, then you could probably add a custom system prompts. So you could give a new name for the system prompt that you want to include, and you could provide the prompt here and you could save. On the top right, there's the option to toggle the arena mode. Once we turn that on, we can ask a question and then compare the model responses side to side. For example, I'm going to ask to explain merge sort. So we can see that this model gives a way longer answer 
compared to the answer that we got from the model on the right. But at this point in time, we really don't know which of the two models is the best. On the top, it says pick whichever answer you think is better. After choosing one of the responses, it will be highlighted and the model names and cost or speed metrics will be displayed underneath. Once we get the response, we actually do not see the model names or the cost or the latency, but I'm just going to click on the one on the left. Now we can see that the model was perplexity and the latency was 1917 milliseconds and the cost is just this much. And on the right, we could see that the latency is very less, but at the same time, the response is much shorter for the same query that we asked and the model is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So as we hit app.notdiamond.ai, we end up in this API key page. Basically, it asks us to register and or log in. So I've already registered and logged in. So it then asks us to create a new API key. I can give a name for the API key and create the API key. Now that we've created the API key, let's look at the documentation. Obviously, they start by explaining what Not Diamond is, which is an AI model router that automatically determines which LLM is best suited to respond to any query. And then they list some of the key features and then they also say how to get started. So I have created an account and I just created an API key. We can now move on to the quick start example. Before we get started, we can actually look at the different LLM models that are supported. So we can see that there are quite a few models that are supported. For example, this OpenAI model, Anthropic, Google, Mistral, Replicate, Together AI, Perplexity, and Cohere. We can choose any of these models. So to get started with Not Diamond in Python, we'll have to install the Not Diamond package. We can do so by using pip install minus q Not Diamond create, not just Not Diamond, but Not Diamond create, and we can get installed straight away. And then we will have to set the API keys. On top of setting up the OpenAI, Anthropic, Perplexity, or whatever the models that you work with, you'll also have to set the Not Diamond API key. So once we set the API keys, we are all set for automatic routing and model calling. In order to get started with Nord Diamond, all we have to do is import Nord Diamond from Nord Diamond, and we'll have to create the client object from that. And we'll also have to provide the list of models that we will be using. So for sake of demo, I've just restricted myself to four models. The first one is the GPT-40 from OpenAI. And the next one is Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-40 Mini from OpenAI and also the fine-tuned Llama 3 model from Perplexity. So after creating the Nord Diamond client and providing the list of models that we will be working with, we'll have to invoke the chat.completions.create object and we'll have to pass the prompt as a message. So we'll create a list and to that we'll say the role is system and you are a helpful assistant and for the role user we say that concisely explain merge sort so we expect the model to act as a helpful assistant and explain us the merge sort so we are interested in getting the best results uh, for this prompt out of all these models and so we are also passing the list of models to the uh, model parameter so once we do that, we leave the rest of the decision making to not diamond and we do not care which model actually gets called. As a result, we could see that in this case, the model that was called was Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And this is the output that we got from the model. So instead of asking a technical question, let's move to a different topic and ask what's the weather like in London today? And the response that we get is now from a Llama 3.1 Sona, which is a Llama 3 model fine-tuned by perplexity and which has access to real-time data from web. And so we get the response, which is the weather for London today as of September 9, 2024. And we get these details, the temperature, the precipitation, the cloud cover, and all the details. So even I didn't know that the best model to ask in this case is the perplexity model, but the not diamond router took care of exactly going to the perplexity model rather than the open AI model and came up with this wonderful answer. In order to make it 
choose a different model or in order to choose a model based on some criteria such as trade-off, a trade-off between cost and latency, we have to provide a new parameter called trade-off to the same create function and we provide the trade-off as the cost. Then it cleverly understands that our concern is that of cost and it chooses the model that is the least expensive one. So in this case, let's go back to the question of asking to explain the merge sort. But this time, even though Claude 3.5 is the best in terms of the quality of the response, because now we are concerned about the cost, it gives back the response from the GPT-40 Mini. Obviously, the Mini model is going to be costing much lesser than the other models. Now, instead of actually leaving the invoking the LLM with Nord Diamond, we can also just ask the recommendation from Nord Diamond, and then we can write our own logic in order to choose what we do really with the recommendation. For that, we'll have to invoke chat.completions.modelselect instead of the create function and then we pass the exact same values as the message and the models and provide the list of the models. So in this case, it's recommending Claude 3.5 Sonnet for actually concisely explaining mod merge sort, which makes sense. Once it has come up with this recommendation, we can just write the logic in order to do our own invocation and our own logic based on the recommendation that's provided by Nord Diamond. That pretty much wraps up the main functionalities that Nord Diamond can provide for us. So we are not just restricted to model selection or recommendation. There are a few more features which I skipped and I'm going to walk you through those features now. These are the key features. One is the maximizing the output quality. As we saw, Nord Diamond can choose the best model dynamically and hence it gets us the best quality output by dynamically deciding which model is for you. But it can also do the cost and latency trade-off. If we go into it, you can give the trade-off parameter, you can set it to cost, and then you can give a priority to cost rather than the latency. But there are also other features. For example, you can do personalized routing with feedback. So in this one, each user is given a preference ID and the session is tracked and we also track the thumbs up or thumbs down button that they press when they are actually in the session. For example, the user is given a preference ID and also the let's say the user has submitted a thumbs up button then the metric is tracked as a feedback and a score is tracked based on the value of one which indicates it's a thumbs up and if it's not a thumbs up then the value is not one and so this gives a personalization for each custom router. So this way we can create a personalized routing in real time to the end users based on their particular feedback. So on top of these features, it also allows you to train your own custom router. The idea is that by combining together multiple models into a single meta model, that learns when to call each LLM, we can beat every individual model's performance and we can even drive the cost down and latency in the process. So how do we go about it? All we need is a set of LLM prompts and the responses from the LLM for those prompts. And we also need an evaluation score for the response to the input prompts. And these scores have to be numbers and can be any metric that fit to your requirements. It need not be the standard metrics that are like accuracy and F1 scores and all that. So we need pandas in order to read the data set as a data frame. And we also need the custom router from the Nord Diamond toolkit. In this example, we've used the human evals data set, but it can be anything that you create. So we read the data set as a data frame. So once we have created the data set for each provider, we create a train test and extra split by iterating through them. All we that we have to do is create a trainer from the custom router. We have to mention that the language is, of course, English, and we'll have to maximize the score because whenever we say that the higher score is better, we'll have to say maximize is true, and then we'll have to fit the trainer to the data that we just created. Once we do that, then we will have a preference ID generated. That pretty much wraps up the features that are available with Nord Diamond. So we saw what Nord Diamond is, we saw what model router is, and then we went through how we can set up Nord Diamond by creating an API key, by creating a login, and then we also saw the different LLMs that are supported by Nord Diamond. We also went through a notebook 
for how we can go about installing it and for running the model router using some of the available models. And we also saw how we can go about uh, letting it choose the different models by using the create function or we could just get the recommendation from it using the model select function. We also walk through the different features that are available on top of this. So I hope that's useful for you to get started with model routing and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care.